sometimes we wait until there's a few more people before we kick off, but uh, as our visitors tonight have come from the wilds of the back of the beyond, we'll try and start on time. How many people here are from Mullaney or thereabouts? All right. Well, well, thank you to the other four people for coming. Um, I don't know. I hope that I don't know if there's any. I very, very much doubt if there's anybody here from Mullaney who hasn't seen the people who are going to be on tonight. But uh, there may be some Brisbaneites who haven't seen them. But whether you've seen them or not, I think they're all going to be a treat. We haven't been up to the club there at Aberfoxs for you know, probably three or four months, I think. It just keeps coinciding with June's hospital treatment or something, you know, washing my hair or something, I don't know. Um, but uh, so we figured, what the hell, we'll get them down here to save the petrol and everything else. And as I said to Paul, as, uh, you know, it's not like one person has to drive all that way. They can share it among the six or eight people who've come down. Um, in fact, they've all come down individually is their problem, but uh, they haven't used a local Mullaney bus. Uh, you would all be aware that this is a fundraiser for the folk rake. This is our main lifeblood, comes from here, and the concerts that KTB runs at her place, without lights and sound and everything, all the other palaver, but food nearly as nice. Please indulge in the delicious fare over there. The drinkies outside and, and in do, don't indulge in the noxious weed, please. We've had one or two people become extremely ill. And um, I suppose we're about ready. Is the um, audio-visual person ready? Oh, yes, she's visual. And she'll be audible tonight, I'm sure. Our first artist tonight, um, I was discussing how he wanted to be introduced as to the, the gremlin from somewhere or, or whatever. He'd like to be introduced to somebody who's been trying for 25 years to become a Queenslander, I think. Um, come from the land of the long white, what's it? And uh, <laughs> he said he was going to try and live up to his, uh, his write-up of being a funny man tonight. But please don't laugh at the serious songs because it'll upset him. And a uh, big hand please for Mark Gillett. And I think I pronounced that right, have I? Soft G. With a soft G. Gillett. Gillett. Welcome. We Gillets be from Somerset, I understand. Okay, anyway, thanks very much for the invite. Um, Should have just moved myself to the mic, shouldn't I? Um. Thought I'd start out with a bit of blues. talk while you're tuning but I'm not very good at doing mu this multitasking stuff so. anyway it's a song about uh, old friends and youthful experiences that stay with you
to that little hearted lake head where we laid down our heavy load. How we dived, how we dived in that clear cold water stream. How we dived, how we dived in that clear cold water stream. I never felt such cold water and I never felt so clean. Ah, we carried on next morning with our swags up down the track. Yeah, we carried on next morning, took our swags on down the track. When our lives swept on before we and I never have been back. Now for nearly half a lifetime, I've kept that memory. Now for nearly half a lifetime, I've kept that memory. Now, but lately I've been wondering, does that clear cold water still run free? Cause in my mind I'm still traveling, not yet over that hill. A little swag of trouble, I'm a carrying it still. I got a letter of pledges that I promise to redeem. I'm out forgetting how to think, forgetting how to dream. been rehearsing for the night. Um, like all tall stories, this one starts with a uh, with truth. Um, a, a friend of mine does live in a place like called Dulong, which is behind Nambour on the Sunshine Coast. Um, but he did at one stage want to call his place Dulong Banjos. Um, but anyway, the first, um, uh, this is called the Dulong Garbage Wars. Tonight I'm going to do parts one, two, and three. Um, part one is the uh, true bit, part two and three sort of do tend to deviate ever so slightly from the literal, you know. Um. <laughs> which I call the refrain. 
Now, I'm sure that you'll get the idea of this, but basically what it means is that uh, you sing a bit while I um, take a breath and try and remember what to sing next, okay? Well, this mate of mine's a decent co, he wouldn't do no harm. He used to live in Brisbane till he bought a hobby farm. He planted up his block with trees, young and grum and tall. He waters them and weeds them, they don't look too bad at all. From the road, you'd be forgiven for thinking it was a park. But some folk take advantage, dump their rubbish after dark. I went round there one morning and found him quite incensed. Another bloody townies tipped his trash over my fence. Tipped his trash over my fence. Tipped his trash over my fence. Another bloody townies tripped his trash over my fence. Well, the bags they bust, the wind that blew, the shit was scattered round. I had to go and pick it up and look at what I found. There's power bills and postcards, if I'm not much mistaken. The careless litter and boothhead has disclosed his location. Let's sue the council on him, they'll have his scabby hide. But the ranger just said sorry, but the law's not on your side. And left us here both fuming, this outrage to compute. It's too much for the office, they'll never prosecute. They'll never prosecute, they'll never prosecute. It's too much for the office, they'll never prosecute. You're getting the idea, I knew you would. We're going vigilante. Oh, this is the not quite so true, but we're going vigilante. We must be made to pay. And so it was next Tuesday, garbage collection day. The overflowing wheelies outside a known address were upended on the front lawn. A stinking steaming mess. A stinking steaming mess. A stinking steaming mess. Upended on the front lawn. A stinking steaming mess. Well, that should have been the end of it. But my mate, well, he's a clot. He had to leave his calling card. Little crow's ash tree in a pot. Such blatant provocation no boof head could ignore. And that was how they started the Doolong Garbage Wars. The Doolong Garbage Wars. The Doolong Garbage Wars. That was how they started the Doolong Garbage Wars. We seldom heard the rattle of that stealthy midnight ute. But the sights we saw each morning were often less than butte. A trailer load of fibro, a drummer 24D, a, a billion bits of styro, and half a coral tree. Well, we aspired at peace on earth, we took it with good humour. We only bought it on ourselves, and though each raid was crueler, he must run out of rubbish soon. We'd pull through, never fear, until the day we had to deal with half a roadkill steer. Half a roadkill steer, half a roadkill steer, till the day we had to deal with half a roadkill steer. Why? Well, a chainsaw must have finished what a semi-truck had started. But it was still a ute load, and it smelt like old Mick farted. We cursed upon that boofhead, we swore he'd rue the day, and spoke of retribution as we called the thing away. But we drove back from the landfill, we spied a garbage truck, with its driver at the curbside, trying to loose a bin fast stuck. Let's nick the thing, me mate said, drive up to Boofhead's digs. Drive up to Boofhead's digs. Tip the lot and be away before he calls the pigs. Before he calls the pigs. Before he calls the pigs. Tip the lot and be away before he calls the pigs. No, and so straight into action, no second thoughts delay. We coasted round the corner and parked out of the way. The truck gets motor running, we nicked it at a stroke. Left the driver standing in a cloud of diesel smoke. Our blood it sang for vengeance through trouble, pain and strife. We teach this bloke a lesson he'd remember all his life. But 
unbeknownst to everyone that fateful garbage day a few unusual pickups had been made along the way had been made along the way had been made along the way a few unusual pickups had been made along the way item a whole week's worth of prawn heads from all of restaurant row Across a well-filled diapers from the council baby show. A bumper batch of bad homebrew left from last December. And the other end of that roadkill steer, the back half I remember. The scrapings from a foul run where the chooks had chicken pox. There were dog dins, fish tins, mouldy football socks, toe clippings, stove drippings, the usual household treats, all mouldering together in the early summer heat. In the early summer heat, the early summer heat, all mouldering together in the early summer heat. Hope everyone's had their dinner. We rocked it up still further as we rocked on up the road until we reached that cul-de-sac, the enemy's abode. We backed up to his picket fence, we let it tip away. But that payload was fair lethal, we sussed that right away. The smell defied description, the homebrew and its tallies began to blow like gunfire spreading prawn shells over all. We'll call us rough and ready, but no one, however strong, could last for more than seconds in that lethal putrid pong. In that lethal putrid pong, that lethal putrid pong. Could last for more than seconds in that lethal putrid pong. Our eyes and nose are streaming to breathe beyond belief. Tied our checkies round our faces to give us some relief. That's how the neighbours saw us as we made our getaway. Two raghead desperados in a hijacked council dray. And billowing in our smoky wake, a smell to leave you wretching. If they measured smells by decibel, the smell would be Led Zeppelin. <laughs> the final tally blue, peace returned upon our leaving. Just the gentle rain of prawn shells and the sound of people heaving. The sound of people heaving. The sound of people heaving. The gentle rain of prawn shells and the sound of people heaving. Oh, what happened next? We ditched that truck quick as and legged it through the summer heat. Over bridges, under fences, till we finished our retreat. On the veranda with a coldy, we paused to catch our breath when the news came on the radio and scared us half to death. The agents of Al-Qaeda in fanatic desperation, unleashing bioterror on the suburbs of our nation. The PM's on the TV, invoking special powers, and folk in white and viro suits are giving people showers. They're giving people showers. They're giving people showers. Folk in white and viro suits are giving people showers. Oh, the public is enjoined. Beware of sudden coughs or spots. The ambos and police are too in purport for anthrax shots. But that Aussie fighting spirit's coming through without delay. The perpetrating villains will be caught without delay. There's planes and choppers overhead, it's a military mess. And those blokes advancing up the drive look like the SAS. It seems as though me mate and me are martyrs to our cause. True, nobody ever wins the Doolong Garbage Wars. The Doolong Garbage Wars, the Doolong Garbage Wars. It's true, nobody ever wins the Doolong Garbage Wars. The Doolong Garbage Wars, the Doolong Garbage Wars. It's true, nobody ever wins the Doolong Garbage Wars. <laughs> Thank you, you're very kind. funny.
mean, you were singing so well on the last one that there's a few people here that do know the chorus of this. to myself because I actually did sell it to someone after it had fallen in half. I did try to tell them that it had fallen in half, but they thought it was a good car too. They, mo they were, so they did actually um, buy it and drive it round after it had fallen in half. I used to be able to do things like that in Queensland once upon a time. Uh, one day, um, I used to live out little paddock out the back of Mapleton and uh, you know we had this long driveway cattle grid the cattle grid was being fixed so at this stage you had to actually drive around through the paddock to kind of get back onto the onto the uh, road again and I was driving over this rather bumpy thing one day and I looked in the mirror and the tailgate of my car was going and I just about drove into the fence. I was kind of transfixed looking at the uh, at the uh, rear view mirror and just about drove into the fence. And I actually did drive it for quite a while after that before I finally um, sold it. I think I can get up there. Um, deep apologies to Red Gun. Vinyl on the dashboard has all faded And I can't believe the speedo's reading true It's been ten long years today Since I left, purchased this old station wagon And I'll drive this hack till the driving's done For the rain always falls on my rusty Ford Cortina Bits keep falling off and get left behind And the muffler's mighty roar always causes a sensation And I'll drive this hack till the driving's done Seems when I started up each morning that it's gonna take me half the day And there's only one headlight And it isn't very bright It bucks and jumps and handles like a dray For the rain always falls on my rusty Ford Cortina Bits keep falling off and get left behind Muffler's mighty roar always causes a sensation And I'll drive this hack till the driving's done One of my favourite songs, I don't know why I do this to the things I love
Thank you very much. It does work better in a small room at the end of the evening when everyone's pissed. Cheers. My voice seems to be holding out better than I thought, so... This is Marilyn, everybody. Oh, Cheryl, got it wrong. I had a friend... Uh, this is Cheryl, everybody, and sort of not everybody is allowed to fondle her. It was my mate Chaz Burt Kennedy that had a guitar that he called Marilyn, and it was a uh, Les Paul. She wrote this one for my grandmother. Um, she came from England um, when she was oh, 20 or so to New Zealand. Married a, married a bloke and they came out. Um, she was always very hot on the English heritage. Never failed to remind me that sort of I had ancestors I could trace back to the Norman Conquest. Didn't mean shit to me then, doesn't it doesn't now, but it meant a lot to her, so I used to listen to her. Um, she was about four foot two. She was tiny. Worked on a dairy farm. Used to play the organ in church, all those kind of things. Anyway, she was little and she was from England, so this song's called Little England. Songs my mama 
sang to me Little England When will I let you go Your cradle songs Keep haunting me The beaten drums There's red coats marching in the square Keeps us in chains Stop our souls from flying free Oh, little England When will you let us go? The beating drums Keep driving me I mean the lion and the unicorn Cricket over and a croquet lawn Carol singers and a hunting horn Little England Oh, I know it is the state of mind Little England can be so unkind I Sail away and see what I can find In Little England And see clouds like white cliffs on the horizon Above a land that's clean, green and new But I can't go, little England got this hold on me Till everyone can sail away to Thank you. Thank you very much. satisfied enough, secure enough with my self-image that I don't have to play in front of the mirror anymore, but still in the bedroom. And, um, uh, uh, here's a... I hate four-wheel... Now, I haven't got a song about mobile phones, but sort of... Um, uh, the, the other scourge of modern existence is the four-wheel drive. Um, I'm, I'm, go I'm going to sort of play your guitar again for this one, Noel. Thanks very much, mate. That's so yeah, yeah, it's, it's a lovely guitar. Very, very nice to play. Very nice indeed. Um, okay, well, anyway, this is a song for anyone who's ever been run off the road by a big shiny four-wheel drive. And that counts. Actually, my current pet hate is little black cars. Have you noticed there's a scourge and plague and pestilence of little black cars that seem to be uh, taking over our roads just lately? Wherever you go, there's someone that I, I, I swear that they're, they're the hat drivers of the noughties. They are. They drive little black cars. Any little black car drivers here today? Thank God. For that. <laughs> so, uh, well, you know, just bear with me while I put shit on you. Uh, the other night I was driving back sort of from Maruchidor as I have to every night from my um, day job and uh, it was a wet, cold, you know, blustery night. The roads were like greasy and horrible and 
um, yeah, little black, little black cars. Ro breezy black. Hor Who would drive a little black car on a night that's cold and you, you know you can't see them. You can't see them. They kind of blend into the darkness. Anyway, um, there's this gas station that you go past, and there's an island there. There was a little black car doing a U-turn over double white lines around this island to get into the gas station. At the same time as another little black car was going out, you know, sort of exiting the entry port of this gas station. And uh, luckily, sort of, um, I'd, I'd, I was kind of compassmentous, otherwise I'd have cleaned them up, cleaned them both up. But uh, yeah, there was a kind of a nexus of little black cars that kind of, um, yeah. Oh. Anyway, this song is not about little black cars. Sometimes I feel like I'm really alive. I feel like a big shiny four-wheel drive, a turbocharged red dirt runner, scorching through the outback summer, but inside I'm cool and clean, air-conditioned, tinted screen, locked on high-range cruise, dusting off the kangaroos. <laughs> Give me a minute. I haven't, I haven't done the pick for a while. Cheryl, everybody. <laughs> Out here where the road gets bumpy, you'll be bucking like a brumby in your short wheelbase Land Rover. Slow down before you turn over that cocky little blocky. Thinks he's red hot in his rocky. You'll soon wish he'd fixed his shocky. Fixed his shocky's big shiny four-wheel drive. Big shiny four-wheel drive Where that road ain't going Going to make my own In my big shiny four-wheel drive Gosh, it's hectic in that traffic But I won't worry, I won't panic I'm heads above the rush hour race I've got weight, size to claim a space So much space I'm born to shop A nudgy bar in case I can't stop Electric windows, wine no hand A driver's side airbag is standard Hey, that bus or truck that's in the way Won't wreck my day I'll climb the curb and four-wheel drive away Drive away, big shiny four-wheel drive Big shiny four-wheel drive I will learn to be I'll be sailing plane In the outside lane In my big shiny four-wheel drive Oh, remember the next person Beside the briny, past those tiny, shiny, underpowered, underachievers, Daihatsus and Lada Nevers, over rivers you're not dare it crossing. In that wee Sierra, you'll get washed right out to sea, Jack. I tell you that for free, but don't you laugh, cause you're no flasher in your rusted out beach batter, getting bogged in every sand hill. You might as well be sold for landfill. I'm sorry, Blue. You can't get through the places I can get to would bottom out your Subaru. Your Subaru, big shiny four-wheel drive. Big shiny four-wheel drive. I will stop their speech when I hit the beach in my big shiny four-wheel drive. San Diego's coming down, when all the big rigs come to town. Hey, there's gonna be a big parade. Let me show you what I'm made of. I'm a haiku made of steel. Get that babe behind my wheel. Well sprung, soft upholstery. Daddy cool on the CD, I'm so shiny. Maduco oozes glass like polished glass. I'm chic, city smart, jungle sleek on the boulevard or up the creek. Can't join this club Australian made. Cause I'm afraid your jackaroo don't make the grade Sorry, big shiny four-wheel drive Big 
shiny four-wheel drive I will stop this spin down on Hastings Street In my big shiny four-wheel drive Big shiny four-wheel drive uh, 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 uh. Big shiny four-wheel drive I will look so neat up on Hastings Street on my big shiny four-wheel drive. Big shiny four-wheel drive. <laughs> big shiny four-wheel drive. I will look so neat up on Hastings Street in my big shiny four-wheel drive. Sorry, not very good at parking these things. Uh, look, that must be about my lot. Look, thank you very much, everybody. It's been great playing for you. It's to be stingy, living half Scottish myself. Welshmen are a different matter, but anyway. Um, our next artists are a quartet of very fine vocalists. Um, what can I say? They're really great. Um, they sing in various combinations and sort of even various combinations of each other, I think. They tend to move around. Um, work in progress consists of, let's see, I'm not quite sure which order, but probably. Wish and uh, Alex? Paul, Paul, he's the one who isn't like the others. Uh, Alex and Carmel. Big hand, please, for work in progress. Silly song. Cornwall. Pick a Cornish song. You got that? <laughs> I think. It's a bit long. Uh, uh, uh. I love how you clarify. Jan Nucky was a minor bold as ever went to bow, but cruel good could rattle to throw a tidy fall. Hey, Johnny, will you come Johnny, along? Will you Johnny, come will you come along? Johnny, Johnny, will you wait for a while? Oh, come along, John, with your bigger boots on. Johnny, will you wait for a while? Now, up along the church town lived a fine and a handsome dame. Oh, she was stout as was her purse. Gracie was her name. Hey, Johnny, will you come Johnny, along? Will you Johnny, come will you come along? Johnny, Johnny, will you wait for a while? Oh, come along, John, with your bigger boots on. Johnny, will you wait for a while? Boy, Johnny had the nerve one day to speak his mind to Grace, but when he got inside the door, he didn't have the faith. Hey, Johnny, will you Johnny, come will along? Johnny, will you come along? Johnny, will you, Johnny, will you wait for a while? Oh, come along, John, with your bigger boots on. Johnny, will you wait for a while? He said, hello, my love, now do not take a miss. Before I go, dear Gracie, let me have a kiss. Hey, Johnny, will you come Johnny, along? Will you come along? along? Johnny, will you come along? Johnny, will you wait for a while? Oh, come along, John, with your bigger boots on. Johnny, will you wait for a while? Well, Gracie's done the rob. She stretched him about by turns. She picked poor John up by the scrub. Throwed him through the turn. Hey, Johnny, will you come Johnny, will you come along? along? Johnny, will you, Johnny, will you wait, wait for a while? Oh, come along, John, with your bigger boots on. Johnny, will you wait for a while? Hey, Johnny, will you come Johnny, along? Will you come Johnny, will you come Johnny, along? Johnny, Johnny, will you wait for a while? Oh, come along, John, with your bigger boots on. Johnny, will you wait for a while? Thank you. That was a, a song from Cornwall. 
and we go from Cornwall to Carolina, and this is a, um, a passing over him from Carolina across the bridge. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Paul. <laughs> Across the bridge where angels dwell Across the bridge where angels Across the bridge where angels dwell Children play Beyond the place where time is still Beyond the place where time Beyond the place where time is still, night is day. Close your eyes in fields of wonder. Close your eyes and dream. Close your eyes in fields of wonder. Close your eyes and dream. Ahead where home awaits the heart. Ahead where home is waiting. Ahead where home awaits the heart. All is near. Beyond the place where heaven lies. Beyond the place where heaven, beyond the place where heaven lies, peace is near. Close your eyes in fields of wonder. Close your eyes and This song uh, was written by Dave Oakes, who resides in Alice Springs, and uh, our good friend Marianne Pearcey did a wonderful arrangement of it, she's and she's sitting over there. <laughs> yeah. um, just introduced the Fran. We've had Cheryl before, no guitar. This is Fran. Came from America, and I've now got to give myself and ninety-six. to see you you're just a week away and like so many times before i want that time to stay for more and yet before we know it we'll be saying our goodbyes time will have come and gone to be seen through memory's eyes on and on Time has no time, time has no time time's passing time. through. No one can hold it. It's always a new That was a time. That was a time. Nothing comes from yearning, just an aching for the heart. And time is just like learning, 
with no end and and no start. Got no time for worrying about tomorrow or yesterday. Stop the clock and turn the tide. It's on the wings of change. Time flies and time has no time. Time's passing through. No one can hold it. It's always a news. That was a that was a memory of you. Under the starlight, beneath the popularised by the Carter family. Can't see that. <laughs> got and I think it was the name of their biography um, too. Published some years ago. We start this one. Me. Yeah. Here's a 60 coming at you. <laughs> when death shall close my eyelids and my race on earth is run Will you miss me when I'm gone? Will you miss me? Will you miss me? Miss me? Will you miss me when I'm gone? Will you miss me when I'm gone? Come and set yourself beside me. Come and sit beside my bed. Lay your hand upon my brow While my aching heart grows dead Will you miss me? Will you miss me? Miss me? Will you miss me when I'm gone? Will you miss me when I'm gone? When these lips shall never mourn Press a kiss upon thy brow, but lies cold and still and dead. Will you love me then as now? Will you miss me? Will you miss me? Miss me? Will you miss me when I'm gone? Will you miss me when I'm shall close my eyelids and my race on earth is run will you miss me when I'm Um, actually started life as a poem called The Ballad of the Red Fox and around about, it was published around about 1952 or something in the New Yorker and it was uh, by an American poet called uh, Melvin La Follette <laughs> it's a true story <laughs> and um, he became an Episcopal priest and, and uh, gave up poetry and started helping the fights along the Tex-Mex border, but that's another story entirely um, <laughs> Anne Wiseman, who is a, uh, was a member of the now defunct but a very wonderful a cappella group called the Dead Sea Surfers, she found this poem and set it to music, and hence we have Yellow Sun. Mm. 
Yellow sun, yellow sun, yellow sun. Where will red fox run? Will red fox run? Blue meadows hot. Oops, sorry, that's when, my fault. When, 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 when. <laughs> 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 We're allowed to make a mistake, aren't we? We are, we are working. We are a work in progress. <laughs> in fact, that's how we had, we started our life as a work in progress. We said, let's do, let's perform together at the folk club. And we thought, okay, it'll still take us about six months before we get a repertoire together. So I said, well, let's all turn up my place tomorrow. We'll sit around, bring up a song that you want to learn, and we'll just go and wing it. And we'll just read the words. And we've been doing that ever since. And we still haven't learned the words or some of the songs. <laughs> And sometimes we get it right. <laughs> <laughs> and so the, the title of uh, the, the work in progress seems apt. We'll just try this one again. <laughs> yellow sun, yellow sun, yellow sun. How will red fox run? Will red fox when the hollow horn does sound, when, when the hunter lifts his gun, and, and liberates the wicked hound of death, will red fox run? Yellow sun, yellow sun, Yellow sun, where will red fox run? Will red fox run? Through meadows hot as sulfur, through, through forests cool as clay, through, through hedges crisp as morning and grass. Sky, yellow sky. How will red fox die? Will red fox die? With a bullet in his belly and, and a dagger in his eye. With, with blood upon his red, red bride. took us 20 minutes to learn that. <laughs> oh, you want the word? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just watch oh, well. Carmel's mouth. Um, this, this is a song that uh, is very well known um, <coughs> by the McGarrigal sisters, but uh, it was written by Anna McGarrigal. It was the first song that she ever wrote sometime in the 60s, but uh, it wasn't until Linda Ronstadt recorded it that... Uh, well, all Holbrook was basically, and McGarrell was became better known as well for it. So, and it's um, arranged by Marianne. Yeah. Yeah. Who, got, who twiddles in this one? Do you, oh, do you twiddle? twiddle? I'll twiddle. Eighty-four. Thank you, Paul. I think I ooh and you are. Mm. Yeah, I ooh and ah. Yeah. You ooh and ah as well. And I ooh at the end. You ooh at the end. Mm. Right. I think, therefore, I am.
end of the six day Woodford Festival, I get the pleasure of building very large things and blowing them up.
one, um, it's a Bruce Utah Phillips song, and uh, it refers to, uh, it's called The Good Night Loving Trail, which refers to the, uh, the fact that, well, after the, uh, the American Civil War, there was a hell of a lot of cattle that had been set free, and uh, after the war, people sort of said, oh, well, whatever you can catch is yours, and no worry about who they were, whose they were before. Um, so a lot of these trails uh, ended up happening across America to uh, herd the cattle up to the northern ranches and over to the railroads in the east so that other people could have the benefit of them. And one of these was the Goodnight Loving Trail, uh, named from a couple of uh, Civil War commanders that opened it up. And Good this Goodnight and Loving, Good night and loving <laughs> yes, <laughs> strangely <laughs> enough. And, uh, and the song refers to the old woman, uh, which was the cook, uh, like a retired cowboy, once they couldn't spend 12 hours in the saddle anymore, and they didn't know any other life, so they got to be the cook. A bit like the, on the shearing stations in Australia, that uh, those who couldn't shear anymore often got to be the cook too. So this is the story of the old woman.
I don't always dress like this. A typical rehearsal for this group is I'll be there and I'll go, okay, right, one, two, three, four. Do you think those earrings will go with my top? Yeah. I think, well, what are we going to dress him in? I said, oh, I've got something, I've got something from the op shop last week that'll fit and it'll go with all of our stuff. And then I'll go, one, two, three, four. <laughs> and then one of them's taken a bite of cake. Did you see what happened on the bill spice. the other night? <laughs> <laughs> Not on Saturdays anymore, either. No, no. no it's not Bummer. on Saturdays anymore. Are you going to start? Just a note. Lammy. This is lamb stew. Lamb stew? As opposed to lamb chopped. Yeah. Um, we get a hundred for this, then. This is sort of a gospel song. It, it sounds yeah. a bit like a shape note. We haven't been able to find the, um, the origins of it, but... We kind of like it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit silly. <laughs> well, they don't think so. But. There's a hundred coming your way. He said, he said if, if you love, love me, love me, feed my sheep. He said, he said if, if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. He knew the lambs ain't in the fold. Some are straying in the cold. He said, if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. Tell me who, who did Jesus mean when he gave this virgin plea? Tell me who, who did Jesus mean? Was it you or was it me? The tiny young lamb safe in the fold. Some are straying in the cold. He said, if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. He said, he said, if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. He said, he said, if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. He knew his lambs would hungry grow. Chilling winds would often blow. He said, he said, if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. Tell me who, who did Jesus mean when he gave this urgent plea? Tell me who, who did Jesus mean? Was it you or was it me? The tiny young lamb safe in the fold. Some are straying in the cold. He said, if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. He said, he said if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. He said, he said if you love me, feed my sheep. Well, Peter and James and John are gone. We this work must carry on. He said, he said if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. Tell me who, who, who did Jesus mean when he gave this urgent plea? Tell me who, who, who did Jesus mean? Was it you or was it me? The tiny young lamb safe in the fold. Some are straying in the cold. He said, he said if you love me, love me, feed my sheep. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to do a serious song after You guys that. started that. It had nothing to do with us. You made us laugh. They say you shouldn't work with animals. <laughs> well, you'll have to go further back. <laughs> Don't be that. Um, this song uh, is known as a traditional New Zealand song uh, of, about the sealing industry. I'm sure most of you would know it, Davy Lawson. Um, even though it, it seemed to start its life apparently on the docks of Sydney, but we could let the Kiwis have it, I reckon. <laughs> And this one's based on a true story. It, it, this uh, guy, David Lariston, he actually did get pick up, picked up um, by the sailing ships sometime in 1915 or whatever. But a lot of the, the guys who were left on the islands to um, do the sealing uh, got forgotten or else the ships uh, sank and they, nobody knew they were there or whatever. So it was a pretty horrible way to die. But then as Alex and Carmel pointed out, it was a pretty horrible way for the seals to die too. So there's some kind of karmic thing going on there. Mm. <laughs> oh, my name is Dave. 
baby lost him, I did see I did see Oh, me name is Davy Larston, I did feel. Though my men and I were lost, and our very lives it passed, I did feel, I did feel, I did Were set down in open bay, were set down, were set down. We sat down in open bay, we sat down. We were left, we gallant men, never more to sail again. Or to sail, or to sail, or to sail. Captain John Badar, he set sail, he set sail. Yes, all for Port Jackson, he set sail. I'll return men without fail, but he foundered in the gale. And went down, and went down, and Ten thousand skins for the fur, for the fur. We cured ten thousand skins for the fur. Brackish water, putrid seal, we did all of us fall ill. For to die, for to die, for to die. Come all you lads who sail upon the sea, sail the sea. Come all you jacks who sail upon the sea. Though the schooner Governor Bly took on some who did not die. Never see, never see, never I did feel, I did feel. Oh, me name is Davy Lawston, I did feel. Where the icebergs tower high, that's a pitiful place to die. Never see, never see, never. Apologies to the roaches. <coughs> um, who gets this? Me. She is Carmel. She's Rishenda. <laughs> she is Alexander. I am Paul. We're, We're called a work in progress. progress. We, we like, like to sing in harmony. Sing in harmony. And when we get a nice blend, we like to hang on to it for a long time. We all live 
river round my laney toodle Up in the heads are up in the clouds. We like to sip our coffee down at the upfront club. Upfront club. And when we finish that cup, sometimes we think let's have another one or two. Guess which one of us is the oldest? Guess which one is the babe of the group? If you add up our ages, it comes to 209. 209. And when we looked at our names, the first letter spelled C R A P. Thank you very much. We'd like to finish off with a, um, a pop staples number called You Don't Knock. You don't knock, you don't, don't knock, you just, just walk on in the door, the door to heaven's in, the love. there's love and joy for you, to share, to share the whole day through, I know, I know, I know my friends are there, to rest, to rest in heaven's care, you don't, don't knock, knock, ring, push or hold, the door's wide open, waiting for your soul, you don't knock, just walk on in. Well, I walked up the winding road. Oh, yeah. Just to ease this load. Oh, yeah. I travel both night and day. Oh, yeah. So tired but not afraid. Yeah. Jesus, my light and my guide. Oh, yeah. He's ever by my side. Oh, oh yeah. Because yeah. I'm walking up, knocking into heaven with pride. You don't knock, you don't knock, you just walk on in. The door, the door to heaven's in. There's love, there's love and joy for you to share, to share the whole day through. I know, I know my friends are there to rest, to rest in heaven's care. You don't knock, ring, push or hold. The door's wide open, waiting for you, so you don't knock. Just walk on in. Well, I have no need to fear. Oh, yeah. If he is ever near. Oh, yeah. He'll know that my work was true. Oh, yeah. So there, when my day is through. Yeah. In order for me to stay. Oh, oh yeah. And then I'll make my way. Oh, yeah. Because I'm walking out and knocking into heaven. heaven. Goodbye. You don't knock, you don't, don't knock, you just walk on in the door, the door to heaven's in. There's love, oh, there's love and joy for you to share, to share the whole day through. I know, I know my friends are there to rest, to rest in heaven's care. You don't knock, ring, push or hold. The door's wide open, waiting for you, so you don't knock, knock, ring, ring, push or hold, you don't knock, knock, ring, ring, push or hold, you don't knock, bum, 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 bum. you just walk on,
having us. Yeah, thanks for having us. I don't think we've got quite as many people here as we have had sometimes, but I think you'll agree it's been a great night so far, and uh, there's more goodies yet to come. And talking about goodies and the uh, kitchen, just make sure there's some Eccles cakes mm -hmm. left for me. Um, my granddad came from Eccles. Um, over on the back there, you would see some beautiful instruments, handcrafted by Master Guitar Smith, Doug Eaton. <laughs> and while I'm sure he greatly appreciates your applause, he would like it if you'd buy one. Uh, so anybody who's got their checkbook with them, or you take Visa card, or just sacks of cash. Um, they're beautiful instruments, so I know a few people who've got them, and. Uh, one of these days when I win the lotto, I might buy his baritone guitar, which isn't here tonight, because I really like that, but um, I'm neither good enough nor flush enough to purchase it. Next to them is a, a l slightly let lesser instrument in a case, which is a bit more my style. In fact, it is my guitar, but it is also for sale, and uh, it will only cost you hundreds dollars. I'm looking for offers. It has been advertised for a couple of months in the folk rag and I think I've had one inquiry about it. So if we don't get anything soon, I'm going to keep the bugger. Uh, it, it's not a bad guitar. I bought it at a time when uh, I was going through an injured guitar phase and uh, needed some work done. But the offer said Doug fixed up my other two guitars nicely. So I don't really need three. thought it is nice. I might tune it different and then I don't have to twiddle around. Uh, next to that is a button box, which is also for sale on behalf of Kathy Arthur. Um, if anybody's interested in that instrument, it's there. I have already got an offer on that. Um, and strangely enough, somebody who is interested in a CF button box. I was trying to think of a second of Rachel Gadd, uh, both who had recording projects on, and uh, that's what we'll continue to do with that. Uh, hopefully each year we'll, we'll raise money at the concert and uh, then invite applications for, uh, for the award. I suppose we might give it as an award for excellence, if you're excellent. But money doesn't satisfy you for excellence, does it? No. Okay. Um, I think that's hard enough for that. I'm running late anyway. But uh, as somebody said, oh, we're running late. No, no, no. I said, well, look, these people come all the way from the wilds of the Mullaney and Mapleton places and the other side of Mullaney, up past the police station, up past the vet's place, up where June got inoculated after she got bitten by the ferret, but that's another story. <laughs> and out, out past the hospital and uh, then you get to Dale and uh, Doug's place. Anyway, enough rabbiting on. Uh, our next artist is billed as Noel Gardner and Friends. I said when we were setting this up, I said, how many friends has Noel got? And somebody said, not many. <laughs> so we thought four microphones would be enough. Um, 
I have an inkling as to who at least half his friends are anyway, so I'll, I'll let Noel introduce them as he goes along. But uh, an excellent um, performer, as everybody else has been so far, great writer, and uh, what, what can I say? Big hand please for Noel Gardner. Actually, this is my main friend, Cheryl, so could you please say hello to Cheryl for me? Hang on. She said thank you. She's very highly strung, you know. Jenny Finnegan. And, and the stage hogger for the night, Miss Alex Bridge. I thought you might not remember me from the last one then if I look different. Alex lives in Mullaney and Jenny lives in Udlow and I just live on the outskirts of Udlow. But I wore my I won't shop there badge tonight. And, and Paul just tried to explain that um, he comes from Mullaney with a population of 6,000 and, and a police population of 150. Yeah. Whenever the friend of the police minister clicks his fingers, they're in town. Two weeks ago, 100 police for three protesters. Amazing, isn't it? In the treetops in the valley tonight, a sacred place of flowers, such a beautiful sight. A full moon illuminates the rock face as I pass my time. A moment of reflection in my mind. Granite rocks lay shattered, electric spears borne down. A patterned land so ancient, weathered mounds. Run to the horizon, across this border strewn land. Cascading water, driven haunting sounds. Rivers of blood cross the lowlands Streams of life Disenfranchised peoples Down dreaming lines But the spirit of the land is unconquered And will always be The landscape of balance In harmony Black man walked this country for thousands of years. His presence is embedded within our fears. Footprints of time cross the landscape, maps of tears. And as I sit in silence, they reveal to me here. Nature's rocks stand balance precariously. 
equilibrium could set us free. But division and anger, they sweep across my land. Whatever happened to Carrie? About your fellow man Rivers of blood cross the lowlands Streams of life Disenfranchised peoples Down dreaming lines But the spirit of the land is unconquered And will always be A landscape of balance in harmony A landscape of balance in harmony Those rocks are making me hot. This is a song about um, a trip to Girraween. Many people here have been to Girraween out in their Stanthorpe. You might be able to understand that now, huh? <laughs> and um, yeah, what an amazing place. I hadn't been writing many songs some years ago and I thought every time I go for a holiday I'm going to write a song. So I did. I did Woodford, packed my kids in the car and we went up to Girraween for a week, came back, replenished the stocks and headed to Fraser for a week. I thought I was a maniac. This is a song about another wonderful place on the Sunshine Coast. The average song comes out of the Aboriginal life, Dreamtime legend of the creation of the coloured sands. Rainbow Man. Story is told of a legend of old, a maiden who walked in the sand, gazed across at the forest and the trees, Carby tribal land. Slender as the sheer tree, the voice was soft and light, claimed by the will of a strong one. Fighter of the tribe. She watched the clouds swirl overhead, the thunder in the sky. She's taken the sand it onto the beach and came upon her side. Together they walked on the shoreline, hand in hand. For her dreams were answered and her heart burned fire for that handsome rainbow man. Rainbow man on the Tiwa sands, I'm thinking of you. As we watch the morning sunrise with your colors changing hue. You walked upon those golden sands, tomorrow by your side. Now we share your strength and beauty in those colored grains of time. Promised to return when the rain clouds came again someday. Hoped to take her as his bride to a land far away. But his destiny it had to be, for Willis showed his hand. And with his spirit swelling, boomerang, took the colors of the rainbow man. Yellow, red, and purple. Flew through the air. There today from that dream time rain are the colors that we share. Rainbow man on the Tiwa sand, I'm thinking of you. As we watch the morning sunrise with your colors changing hue. You walked upon those golden sands, tomorrow by your side. Now we share your strength and beauty in those colored grains of time. 
Rainbow man on the tea white sands, I'm thinking of you. As we watch the morning sunrise, with your colors changing hue. You walked upon those golden sands, Moreau by your side. Now we share your strength and beauty in those colored grains of time. 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 Years ago, we thought television came to dominate our lives. Used to go to the movies and um, you'd see a thing called cine sound. I mean, I'm not old enough to remember it. Other people told me about it. <laughs> Speaking of old, this is my mum in the front <laughs> row here. Like when you're near my age, you don't mention your age, but when you're 86, it's fine to tell you know, how old you are, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. Me or her? There you go. See, it's not old. You've got a long way to go. Stop complaining. <laughs> <laughs> still drives a car, still plays bowls one day a week. <coughs> anyway, I used to go to the movies and used to call these cities documentaries called Cine Sound. And uh, I never saw this at the movies, but I've seen it on the 730 report a couple of times. <coughs> and it was a story about a couple of little Aboriginal girls. They were twins, and they were taken from their family and uh, relocated with a white family in Melbourne. And basically, Cine Sound, a lot of the times, was just propaganda for the government. And um, the story was just saying how lucky these two little girls were. And um, I always remember the image of them at the end when they were being walked up the stairs to the bedroom. And, and the voiceover said, yes, dreams really do come true. And I read a bit of our testimony given to the Stolen Generation Inquiry. And um, that image and uh, that testimony put together the songs called, called the Stolen Children. It's also an award-winning song that he won the lyrics category in the recent ACRA. Um, yes, that's right. Uh, Australian songwriters come to Well, he's choking my hair and he pats my back Then he tells me I look fine Tell me I am beautiful, this skinny butt of mine And then he gives me another tweak Of that white man fella's gold I am wobbling, I am giggling I am 13 years old I was raised with my family Down by those Gigi trees my mother and my father, three brothers and me We were taken to that mission camp, so I am told Heard it in my cattle, I was only five years old And then I worked at that homestead, the rations and the abuse I don't remember much past tears of that pain of being used but as my belly began to grow, bought it back again. I was taken from that homestead, back to that mission camp. Stolen children, taken away. Stolen children, where are you today? Stolen children, the dreams really come true. Is there pain in your heart? Was there love enough for you? He was born one day in early June beneath those Gigi trees. Handsome boy with rosy eyes, skin not quite like me. And he was fairer than my brothers, but I loved him from my heart. And I learn how the color of a person's skin Can tear two lives apart Stolen children Taken away Stolen children Where are you today? Stolen children The dreams really come true Is 
Was there pain in your heart? Was there love enough for you? When the car drove in, I had a sense and nerves to run and hide. But alas, it was all so quick. They took my child outside. And as they drove away in clouds of dust, I cried mother's pain. Never once from that day forth did I see my child again. Some say love's unspoken when lives are torn apart. A mother's love goes back to womb, the joining of the heart. And this bond cannot be broken, however far away. A child, a boy, a father, a mother still today. Stolen children, taken away. Stolen children, where are you today? Stolen children, the dream truly come true. Is there pain in your heart? Was there love enough for you? Was there pain in your heart? Is there love enough for you? Thank you. Yes, for many years I'd, I'd seen um, these little application forms for Australian songwriters. So I put a song in the um, year before and uh, I got second. So last year I put a couple more in and um, I put that song in the lyrics category. I got 500 bucks, went to Sydney, spent it all and uh, went to a wonderful awards night. Saw Molly Meldrum in action. The wonderful voice of Russell Morris and um, a lot of talented songwriters. So anyway we're doing we're doing a song i live in the forest and this is a song about trees and forests and all those wonderful things but um nothing like going for a walk in the forest really it's um unfortunately today we think our forests are like high-rise buildings but um there are forests there i'd like to plug the arrangement for this song too it's another marianne <laughs> 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 i know he arranged the guitar <laughs> The sounds of the forest fill the breeze. Motion of joy in the forest, the rustling of leaves, and nature of riches, a wealth of splendor, and a mystery. Touch the rays through the forest that float across time. Colors of sparkle so tender, a palette sublime, and I still marvel in childlike wonder through my mind. Taste the pot across the forest, the trickle and flow, a journey of music in motion that comes and goes, a rhythm of movement, a dance of patterns, and the swelling show. Fill 
love a spirit in nature that has always been bleached from the web that finds us our insecurities away from our towers a sacred shelters a false reality Let your charm run free in the forest that nature provides. Release your scents in the forest and you will see. You will be free to survive. Creatures of life in the forest Down ancient lines A feeling of love in the forest That passes some by A balance forgotten A timeline of reason A rhythm and rhyme Hear the sounds of the forest Feel the breeze And I've, I've been recording a CD for about two and a half years and, um, and that song sounds fantastic Well my 21 year old son likes it anyway so um, he's producing it for me so it's wonderful as a songwriter when you um, get a response from someone. We played a little permaculture concert up on the Sunshine Coast today and as we were leaving, this man came out and said, um, I just wanted to thank you. That refugee song you played today really touched me. And I was a refugee from Chile many, many years ago and um, we had a little rave and um, talked about how evil America is and how they've gone into so many countries. And and, uh, but it was, was wonderful. I'll try this question. Th th this is a song um, inspired from the disgusting treatment we've given people that have travelled across these oceans looking for a better start to life. We can't take refugees from Afghanistan. We send them back because it's safe, but then we send troops over there because it's not safe, so I'm really confused. <laughs> Come from the land of the desert Where the mountains reach into the sky The snow-capped gods towers of beauty Religion and guns rule my life Life of simplicity and sharing Three children, a white family I've been beaten, plundered and brutalised I am a refugee Now with decades of war my hopes faded I would be yearning to live and be free Package my life and my culture with a bag full of sad memories. I've been exiled away from my homeland. I've been feeding advantage and greed. I have ventured across nature's vast oceans. I am a refugee.
Now a light shines down from a tower Girl, why to find all my dreams And a man with a baton and the spray pack Maintains all those hostilities There's I sit in this camp in the desert With no mountains, water and trees My spirit is broken and shattered I am a refugee As I sit in this camp in the desert How wide it finds all my dreams My life is dissected and traded I am a refugee My hopes fell away across the desert like an aborigine. up in a family of four older sisters and three of them here tonight. I was a younger persecuted child, the boy. <laughs> they reckon I was spoiled. But <laughs> my sisters come up on my cape, please. I now have three boys, um, a little nine-year-old here, but um, two older boys, and um, I'm very, very easy to sleep, that's all right. <laughs> a 19-year-old living in England playing soccer, and a 21-year-old who has um, done a music degree and is producing a CD for me, well he has, just got to get him to finish mixing it. <coughs> but this is a song I wrote for them um, some years ago, it's called Photographs and Memories. Remember the time when you came to my life I remember the feelings I had The wonder of the newborn I remember the first time I touched you I remember my words and my smile Your giggles and laughter ring in my ears As I sit and reflect for a while I remember your candor and passion Enthusiasm reaching new highs The cuts and abrasions are still going strong Two boys stretching their lives I love you I love you I love you deep from my heart Photographs and memories Are with me wherever you are Remember the joy of your first day at school Proud young boys on their own Two brothers sharing love that they have Two young men growing up strong I remember the sadness when I had to go 
tears shed for my start and I'm sorry for the hurt that I gave you both Two parents tearing apart But I love you I love you I love you deep from my heart Photographs and memories Are with me wherever you are there are so many thoughts over so many years There are so many more to unfold Whatever you do, wherever you go May your music come straight from your soul This is the flute solo This is the last song, and um, we're going to get Paul and Carmel back up on stage. <laughs> get up here and just hurry up. Do I have more than two friends? I mean, I have a, have a CD with about 48 musicians on it or something. But because um, that last mob are so wonderfully crap singers, <laughs> and I know them, I thought, shit, I want them all on the CD. The man needs to coerce them in. And Paul, yeah, Paul wants to tell you he hasn't practiced it and he doesn't know what he's doing, but don't worry about that. I've only got him up here because his shirt looks good. Apart from that, they're crap. Oh, stop it, just stop carrying on. He's such a bloody primadonna. He's going to mime it, okay? This is, this is the, yeah, anyway, this is the title track off this CD that I've been doing for about 10 years now. It's called Walking This Land, and uh, it's written after it. Bushwalk, three day walk with a backpack and a few friends through the Kalula Trail some years ago. They always complained to me that I wrote a song about it and I've never done it again. And Gabriel sings on this on the CD as well, but he's he does. I was going to get him up tonight <laughs> too. I managed um, on my first CD, I managed to get both of my kids on there and I've got this little guy on this one as well. He's a great singer. Thanks very much for having us down here. You just shut up a little bit. Could you read us sing the gentle breeze? Yellow blossoms sway at ease. Droplets cling from July leaves. We are walking this land. Pickiers line tannin creeks. Branches arch above sky stretched streams. Ripples move across naked reeds. We are walking this land. Malacas and bloodwood show. Carry pines and meds mates throw. An ancient path for all to grow We are walking this land Distant views of sun-bleached sand Framed cross burn out banks your land Scribbly gums, bandanas, palms, we are walking this land. Images of tribes long past evoke the dreams that could not last. A millennium of ancient dance used to walk this land. 
We share a hope, we share a dream, aspirations and thoughts unseen. We walk along minds wondering, we are walking this land. But thoughts go backwards on a strong incline. Childhood days take up my mind. But freedom sometimes hard to find. We are walking this land. Colored sands from north to south, rain drenched soil and blackened clouds. We spin a yarn around nighttime camp. We are walking this land. We share a hope, we share a dream, aspirations and thoughts unseen. We walk along minds wondering. We are walking this land. Kathy Bell solo on violin. <laughs> Combined with Andrew Higgins on piano. We share a hope, we share a dream, aspirations and thoughts unseen. We walk along minds wondering, we are walking this land. We are Walking this land, we are walking this land, we are walking this land. <laughs> Mr. Paul Lawler and Carmel Gibbons and Alex Bridge and Jenny Finnegan, thank you. No guidance.
and depressed, talk to experts, they know best, and rely upon instinct and emotion. So if you've had a lonely day, you may will sail away across the calm blue ocean.
won't shop there. We won't, we won't shop there. We won't, we won't shop there. We won't, we won't shop there. Anyway. Thank you very much. Shop where? <laughs> oh, just joking. So that's what those 150 policemen are doing in Millennia, I see. Okay, look, thanks very much for coming. A special thank you to everybody from Mullaney. I think they put on a great night and I'd like to give a big...